Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use backward chaining to prove a given first order logic statement with the help of simple example in artificial intelligence. In this case, I will be considering the following problem definition. In the previous videos, I have already discussed how can we convert this problem definition into first order logic. Link for that video is given in the description below. In this case, we need to prove West is a criminal here. Once you convert the given problem definition into set of uh, first order logic statement, we will get the following clauses here. There are totally eight clauses we will get. Now, once you get the clauses, we need to divide these clauses into two parts. One is known as rules, another one is known as the facts here. If you look at uh, the clauses from 5, 6, 7, 8, all these things are the facts. Because you can notice here, uh, what is given in this case is American West. The meaning of this one is West is American, that is 100% true here. Similarly, uh, in sixth statement, it is given that uh, Nono is enemy of America. Again, it is given in the problem definition. So, similarly, we have four uh, facts here. And coming back to the first four clauses, if you look at the fourth one, whenever X is a missile, then X is a weapon here. So, we know that the entire statement is true here also. But individually, we don't know what about missile and uh, weapon here. Similarly, in the third statement, whenever X is an enemy of America, X is a hostile here. So again, we know that entire statement is true here or entire clause is true, but individually, we don't know in this case also. The same thing is applicable for first and second one in this case. Now, what we need to do is uh, we need to apply the backward chaining technique and then we need to prove that uh, the West is a criminal here. Now, whenever we want to use a backward chaining technique, what we do is uh, we will select uh, some rule where this uh, uh, whatever we want to prove, which is present on the conclusion side. So, in this case, what we want to prove, we want to prove West is a criminal here. So, if you look at the four rules, this is present in only first rule that is criminal X here. Now, uh, we check it out whether this uh, criminal West is already present in the facts also. If it is already present in the facts, we will stop here. But right now, which is present only in the rule that to in the first rule here. Now, what we need to do? We need to prove that all its premises are true in this case. So, how many premises are there? American X, weapon Y, cells X, Y, Z and hostile Z. So, these are the premises of criminal X. So, we need to prove that all the premises are true. If all the premises are true, then we can say that X is a criminal here. Now, in this case, uh, the goal is what? criminal west and uh, the right hand side of this rule is what the criminal x here so what we need to do is we need to replace x by west here so wherever x is present we need to replace it by west so this will become american west and uh, this will become cells west over here now what we do is uh, we will try to prove each of these premises are true if we were able to prove all of them are true the meaning of this one is the criminal west is also true here so i will start with the first one so what is present uh, over here American West is present on the premise side and if you look at the facts here, there is American West also. The meaning of this one is American West is true here. Now we need to prove what? Weapon Y in this case. And uh, if you look at these facts, we don't have anything which is known as the weapon here. We have American, we have enemy, we have wounds and we have missile here. The meaning of this one is this weapon Y is not true here. Because weapon Y is not true, what we need to do is we need to select a rule where weapon y is present on the right hand side or the conclusion side and we need to prove that all its premises are true here now if you look at the fourth rule what is present here is whenever x is a missile x is a weapon here now what we want to prove we want to prove a weapon y here now in our goal we have y and in our uh, right hand side we have x here so wherever x is present now we need to replace it by y in this case so this will become missile y and this will become weapon Y in this case. Now, if you want to prove missile Y, we check it out whether missile is present in the facts here. Yes, it is present, but what is present here? Missile M1 is present. The meaning of this one is M1 is a missile here. But what we want to prove? We want to prove that missile Y is true. What we do is we will apply the unification between these two things. Whenever I replace Y by M1, it will become missile M1. When this will become true, that is missile M1 is true, its conclusion that is weapon M1 is also true in this case. Now we have proved the two uh, premises that is American West and second one is weapon M1 in this case. Now we will try to prove the third one. What is present on the third one? Cells here. 
so whenever there is a cells uh, what we need to do is we need to select a rule where cells is present on the right hand side if you look at the second one uh, cells is present here whenever cells is present we check whether it is already uh, present on the files it is not present here so what we need to do we need to prove all its premises true here so how many premises are there there are two premises the first premise is uh, missile x and the second one is owns no no x here the meaning of this one is whenever x is a missile and x is owned by no no the meaning of this one is west has sold x missile to no no in this case now what is present on the right hand side of this uh, rule here we have west x and no no what is present on the goal side we have west m1 and z here the meaning of this one is wherever there is a x it should be replaced with m1 that's the first thing wherever there is a z it should be replaced with no no in this case so that is what it says so wherever there is a z we need to replace it with no no wherever there is a x it should be replaced with m1 in this case so this will be replaced with m1 and this will be replaced with m1 here so that is what you can notice in this case now what is the next thing we need to do next what we need to do is we need to prove individually these are true here that is missile m1 is true yes it is true because in the eighth statement we can see that m1 is a missile that is a fact here so the meaning of this one is this is true here similarly if you look at the seventh one what it says m1 is a missile which is owned by whom no no here so that is also true because the same thing is present in our the clause also because these two are true the cells is also true here so totally we have proved uh, three premises true right now we will go with the fourth one what is the fourth one hostile in this case we have already said that wherever there is a z it should be replaced with what no no in this case in this case z will be replaced with no no we will get hostile no no in this case now what we want to prove we want to prove that no no is a hostile nation now if you look at the third rule what is present here is if x is a enemy of america then x is a hostile here now uh, this hostile is present on the right hand side here and this hostile is present on the goal because they are matching we perform the unification and wherever there is a x it should be replaced with the no no in this case now we want to prove hostile no no because it is not true individually we have to prove all its premises are true how many are there there is only one premise that is enemy no no comma america because x should be replaced with no no in this case because uh, enemy no no america is present we will check it out whether it is present in the facts yes it is present in the facts that is uh, the sixth one is exactly matching over here the meaning of this one this is also true here because enemy no no comma america is true hostile no no is also true because all of them are true criminal west is also true in this case so this is how we apply the backward chaining technique to prove a given statement in first order logic i hope the concept of uh, backward chaining is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching